Hello and welcome to Brothers Forge Gaming. Right here we're looking at Rampage on the Sega Masters system. Now this game originally arcade, obviously a uh, quarter sucker of old of sometime in the 80s, you know, when all the great arcade games were going off. But it also did receive several home console ports and multiple sequels on various platforms moving forward. The Nintendo GameCube is one of them. Nintendo 64 kind of seemed to stick with Nintendo after the console wars of the 90s when Nintendo beat out Sega. So all you Sega fans out there, I know that's sad news and it's hard to believe. As you can see that little butt hop thing, I thought that was pretty funny. Now, some of the main differences between this version and the, say, NES version that you could play. Uh, you know, this one holds more true to the arcade port. You actually can be all three players and you can play co-op, which is always nice. Um, whereas on the Nintendo, you don't get that option. You get to be one or the other of the monsters. And you also, you know, but you notice, okay, so graphically, Sega Masters possibly was not equivalent to the Nintendo as far as graphics and capability and sound and all those different things go, although it's it's very good in a different way. It's, it's almost hard to compare that, you know, to say Masters isn't as good as Nintendo. It does things differently, whether that's better or worse, it's hard to say. I mean, I mean, Nintendo is possibly the greatest system ever created on anything, anywhere, anytime. It is the hands down best system most variety i mean it is fantastic so it's really hard to put it in a category hey this game's better than you know that game on this system but here right here is an example of uh, if you were to say hey i think rampage on the sega masters might be better than the nintendo port you, you know it's you've got argument for that i mean it's hard to it's hard to say it isn't uh, as far as playability goes uh, as you notice, the game is repetitive. It's kind of like a high score game, um, I guess. It's more though, you gotta think of it as a buddy. It's a co-op buddy beat em up high score challenge. So, you know, multi you're supposed to play this game with two players uh, to get the most enjoyment out of it. Um, it's, it's fun as a single player. But the, the real fun in this game comes out from when you're battling, you're, oh, I'm gonna get that, I'm gonna crush that building, I'm gonna eat that extra person, you know, you, you uh, the competition between friends or enemies in this one is what makes the game. So, as you can see here, single player, it's not that exciting, you're just going from level to level, smashing buildings, ultimately it's the exact same thing, almost zero variety. Uh, I played this for quite some time, guys, so if you want to stick around and, and watch all the levels that I complete, maybe check out my high score at the end, uh, try to beat that, you're more than welcome to. Uh, it, it pretty much just repeats itself. There are some different variations on the levels uh, as you get a little further, but I mean, it's probably one of the most repetitious games there is, but you know what, that doesn't mean it's a bad game. Like I said, enjoy this with a buddy. You gotta do that. Um, and if you actually like this game, check out our review on the Rampage World Tour, or Universal Tour, I believe, on the Nintendo 64. We got a review of that going around, too. If you guys want to check that out, I'll probably link that at the end of this video. But uh, as you step this one up, there's, a, there's actually a version on the GameCube, I want to say, and the Nintendo Wii that, that feature. It's the same game. Uh, I don't know the differences between the, the consoles, but they actually features the original version of the game on it as well so you get a port you know yet another port of the classic so that's like a two-in-one game I actually think it has the 64 version on it as well so that's a great pickup if you want to play Rampage so if you like what you see you want to get some Rampage action go pick it up for the Nintendo Wii or GameCube like I said you're gonna get those multiple games on there uh, yes, they're not the original, but uh, this is the kind of game where it is, yes, you probably want to play it in the arcade. It's an arcade game. It's arcade style, but you know what? It's fun on the console, too. So go ahead and check that out, guys, if you want to watch that review. Uh, as, as I was mentioning, the further you go in the console generation, you know, it steps it up a little bit. Playability gets a little bit better. You've got unlockables. You've got, you can save. Uh, you don't have to play the game infinitely or leave your system on overnight. I want to say that this game has... I 
think it has an infinite amount of levels. I think it, once you beat, like, I don't know, maybe a hundred or so stages, it turns, it turns, it just restarts. I don't believe there is an end to this game whatsoever, so what you're looking at here is you're just gonna play through the game as it is, as you see it here, until you are you just get bored or you're dead or whatever the deal is that you're doing with this game. But, you know, it's a great game, guys. Really fun on the Sega Master System. As a recommendation, I would say pick it up on Masters over the NES because you do get the more original port going here. Uh, I know EZ has the NES version of this game, so maybe we can get together here in the near future and run over a, a breakdown of that, maybe do some side-by-side. -side. I don't know, but keep an eye out for that. If we want to get into that a little bit later, we might check that out. So I want to say thanks, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. We appreciate your views, your comments, and your subscriptions. It all helps out, guys, and we hope you enjoyed this video. We're going to keep bringing it to you. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.